What's happening hardscapers? Let's talk about drainage for open graded bases. Let's get into this. Number one question that I get, and it's difficult to address because every project's gonna be different. This isn't the same with pavers and retaining walls. Yes, things do change with the preparation of that, but with drainage, this is the number one question that I get is how do I prepare for drainage on my open graded base, pavers, retaining walls. It's gonna differ with every single project, but let me give a little bit of some rules of thumb to actually go with. Open grade a base, since everything is permeable, especially our joints are gonna be permeable, all of our water is going to go down into the base. So that becomes, okay, but what's gonna to happen to it once it gets to the edge, especially if my, my soil is clay, my subsoil is clay. Uh, if you have a sandy subsoil, that's great. It's going to penetrate into that sandy subsoil and move away from your property. But we're, we're always dealing with a lot of clay. So where does it go from here once it hits that subsoil? Well, our Excavation should mimic the top of pavement. So it should also slope away. So once that water hits that subsoil, it's gonna slope away. And then what is it gonna do when it hits the edge and there's nowhere for it to go? We're creating sort of like a reservoir. Well, in this case, for this property, what we've decided to do is, since we're going all the way to the fence here, this is the swale between our two properties. This is the perfect way to exit that water out. Also important to note on this project, we sloped that excavation away from the foundation and to towards this bottom left corner where our drain is. Ultimately, you always want it to slope away from the foundation. And then if you have a drain somewhere towards that drain, whether it's in the middle of the patio and you have both sides sloping towards that drain and away from the foundation, or if it's to one side or the other. But we can't just dig out and allow it to go that way. Uh, we do need some sort of pipe. So we've dug a little bit of a trench to put our SDR 35 perforated holes down into this. We'll bury over it. We'll also tie in our downspout into it as well. And then it'll go into the swell. Now two options, you could do a French drain. We're just gonna do a pop-up emitter because we have enough fall from this to the front of the yard. And that's the ideal scenario is that you do have that fall, that slope from here, now on to the front of the curb at the front of the house. So to deburr this, deburr machine, and what I do is put it on. Got that nice, somewhat nice chamfer along the edges. All this does is just save you from filing manually. It's nice to have, it's not a necessity, but it just has these sharp edges that file down the sides. All right, so with our perforated four inch PVC pipe, holes down, we've got an end cap adhered on there we've got an elbow we got this clean out that'll go here and we've lined that up nicely to our downspout perfect and this running along the foundation we always do solid pipe because we're not exactly against the foundation only that little bit could have done perforated but i like getting the downspout water away and then we've got a y here so that's a Y connection. And it's always better to have a Y than a 90, just for the water to flow nicely. The 90, it'll hit, and then it'll cause a little bit of a whirlpool 
it'll add friction with lack of a better term uh, but with a Y it'll just continuously follow that and then this is once again is our perforated pipe we set a little bit of HPB underneath the fabric just to have a nice little bedding and then we put our fabric down and then I put a little bit of HPB along the sides not much just to kind of like stabilize it then we'll put our three quarter inch clear on top this has we still have uh about two inches of gravel on top and then it's our base so then eight inches so we've got about 10 inches of gravel on top of this and then this finally connects to our adapter so it's a four inch to corrugated adapter our corrugated perforated goes in and then we've got a um, pop-up emitter that'll come up there and exit into the soil our backyard is actually slightly sloping towards the patio so our only option is to move the water towards the front of the house if our area was sloping away from the house then we might dig a trench into the actual property and then maybe do a pop-up or just allow that water to flow freely away with just some decorative river rock and an uh, end of the pipe with a grate on it so no rodents get into it. That's another great option, but since our property is sloping towards the house, we need a way to move it to the front of the house with all that water. Now on this specific project, we did something a little bit different because the entire space was going to be hardscapes and it, the base was existing at dense graded base and we were compacting that putting down a non-woven geotextile installing a synthetic base and our joints were going to be permeable so in this case we needed to plan for some sort of drainage factor to this so what we decided to do was at the back where there was going to be a retaining wall there was going to be open graded base for that and we would have our pipe in that base it would tie into a french drain that would come down the side all the way through to the side walkway and into the front yard through a pop-up emitter. And then along this front section, there would also be a French drain that would tie into that entire drain, as well as another side drain that would start from the side walkway and then it tie into an existing French drain into the front yard. So in this case, we've covered every single side of this pool, except the far left side. But in that case, we were overlaying on concrete and we had very little room to put any drain there, which was already covered by just going over into the swale between the two properties. It was really the area that would slope away from the pool and away from the house that we would want to catch that water in a drain underneath our base, as well as a way to evacuate any water that comes from that retaining wall down into the swale between the two houses. With a dense graded base, you're not too concerned about installing this drainage system because you shouldn't be installing a semi-permeable or permeable jointed compound on top of dense graded base. In that case, you would go with polymeric sand and the slope would carry away most of that water. Most of it wouldn't even land into your base anyways. This is why synthetic base, but especially open graded bases, you do need to plan and create a system to help drain that water from the base. Hey, I hope this video's helped you in some way. If it has, please give this video a like, comment below any questions that you may have, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more hardscaping content like this. Thank you so much for watching.